All right, so most of the stuff you see on our Instagram page is a last minute shoot. I'm saying like they gave us a call and we got to be there in like 15, 20 minutes. And then we have about half an hour to sometimes even five minutes with the car. Um, in this case, I think I have about now four minutes with this car. We don't got that much time. Let's do it. Three. I'm not driving. I, I forgot. All right, so what we're about to do is we're going to get some rolling shots and some still shots. I don't know how we're going to pull it off in that short amount of time, um, but we're going to make it happen. Oh, right here. oh yeah, this is the other Ferrari that we bought. We're gonna be using our little kidnapper van that uh, <laughs> I don't think I should call a kidnapper van. It's our business van. Too late, you're good. Okay, it's good. All right, so as you can see, why am I? I'm not giving a review. Let's just go in. Let's, let's go. All right, so here we have the 24 to 70 lens with the Sony A7R Mark IV, and currently I have a CP on, and that's not what I want to use because it's really bright outside. I'm gonna use my ND 8PL. That's <laughs> not here. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, it's, it's in this one. Okay, right. I'm sorry. So before we start rolling, I'm gonna make sure that my shutter speed says super low. So we're gonna aim for, let's do one over 30th. Looking by the outside. Okay, that's fine. So one over 30th, F-stop four, ISO 100. I think this is good enough. One thing I forgot to mention, put your drive mode to high shooting. Um, and good luck. Don't get arrested. Yeah, uh, just letting you guys know, we are passing by the police station while doing this. And I'm pretty sure that was an undercover that we just passed by. Dude. Right there, right there. All right, let's run it back one more time. One more time. Currently, we're, we're doing good so far. I got my front shots, no problem. I got a side shot. There may have been a problem. I might have been shaking a little too much. I'm not gonna lie. Probably because you're hungry. Or I'm diabetic, it's one of those two. Now we just need a rear shot, that's it. So let's go ahead and let's make it happen. So after taking all the rolling shots and getting a couple bugs on my face, it's now time to do the editing process, which is my favorite. Let's go ahead and hop on my laptop and start editing. All right, so now that we're in the editing process, I wanna mention, first thing first, is I like to use presets. Uh, well, you know what, like is not really a strong word. I love to use it. And the reason for that is because using presets, all I have to do is literally click on any of the moods or any of the themes available, and I can change the whole look and aspect of the photo versus going through all the panels and touching up the colors, touching up the details and doing all these little miscellaneous things when I could just save a whole bunch of time and just click on a preset. So the preset that I'm using is called Sunset Vibes and it's from the bonus preset pack available on our website at velvauto.com. If you wanna go ahead and check it out. If not, it sucks to be you. But anyways, as I was going through all the presets, I fell in love with the Sunset Vibe. And just hovering over this preset, you can see how it drastically changes the whole look of it. And we're gonna do a couple small tweaks. First thing first is we're gonna tell the program to go ahead and select the subject. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up the shadows and the exposure on it. So it just stands out a little more compared to the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up exposure to about 0.5 and then bring down my highlights to negative 15. And to also add, let's make sure that our lens correction boxes are checkmarked, just because you wanna remove all those vignetting, I think that's how it's pronounced, the vignette. And on top of that, crop this to a four by five so it's in portrait mode for Instagram. And to do that, click on this icon, select on original, four by five, try to eyeball it right in the middle and enter. So far, so good. Now let's select one of the rear shots that we took. I'm gonna select number five here, which is starred. And I'm gonna go ahead and hover over sunset vibe. Now this is a little more washed out, like there's no sky and the shadows just look completely blasted. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop that to about 65. I'm gonna drop the exposure and I'm gonna drop the highlights like almost all the way down to negative 80. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select the subject by clicking this icon, pressing select subject. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the exposure. So like I mentioned before, it stands out from your background. And there we go. Honestly, I think we edited the photos a lot faster than we actually did shooting the car, which is kind of weird that I'm saying that. But when you have a preset that can change the moods and you barely have to do any tweaking, it saves a lot of time. And just to put up here are how the final shots look like, and you can go ahead and see more of a detailed view on our Instagram page at Velvado. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up and don't subscribe. It's opposite day, by the way. Other than that, it's Daniel from Volvado, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Take care.